the new male actor, and especially the action mm -hmm. star, you know, we're, we're thinking of, the, you know, we used to think of Nicolas Cage, uh, Harrison Ford, mm -hmm. they were the action stars. Now they're getting too old to do it. And so what's happening with action films is that they're turning to technology mm -hmm. and special effects. And so with special effects and technology, anything can happen, including that you can become half human and half animal. Uh, in Avatar, you see, what you see is that the, 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 the main character is first without legs or the use of his legs, mm -hmm. right? And so through technology and through the the magic of movie. Right. James Cameron. <laughs> it's like James Cameron. Yeah. All of a sudden you have a creature mm -hmm. that is an alien or a half animal and half mm -hmm. human. And so both female and male are very similar. In fact, if you looked at the female body and the male body, they were almost the same. Mm -hmm. There was very little difference. In fact, the, the character... Uh, of the female, who is... Uh, Zoe Saldana? Yes, Zoe Saldana. She was more powerful. She knew how to do it. She knew how to uh, ride those dragons. She was um, in control of dragons. her body. She was in control of her body. She was very strong, very coordinated, and very much like an animal. The same mm -hmm. thing with him. He becomes Sam Worthington. Mm -hmm. He becomes an animal. And so that's what's, and there's going to be a lot more of that where the action is really uh, created by technology and special effects. Okay. So that's, so we're looking at a very different kind of male, which is really fascinating. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm not sure where it's going. But we're definitely on the cusp of something. We're on the cusp of something very different. Mm -hmm. And and so the, the male figure of action, the action hero, mm -hmm is very much um, generated by special effects. Mm -hmm. So, On the other hand, we have a very traditional action movie that just came out, Salt. Yes. With Angelina Jolie. That's who right. Who took over a role that was written for Tom Cruise. Correct. And that movie, in, in my opinion, was very kind of old school action. It wasn't a lot of fancy special effects. It was like good old good guy, bad guy, or good girl, bad guy, you know, <laughs> and she held her own. Absolutely. And she was kind of embodying more of the traditional male than a lot of men are today, yet she's Angelina Jolie. And I believe that's going to happen more. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I believe that's going to happen a lot more. Uh, but that's what what I was saying to you before, that the role of women and men are mm -hmm. definitely coming to... Um, an equal balance, mm -hmm. um, which I think is probably a good thing. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't think it's a bad thing. It's just how things are evolving. Evolving, but in terms in terms of maintaining variety mm -hmm. for the audience, and this is something that I'm very concerned about, mm -hmm. is that if if filmmaking becomes all sort of cohesively the same, mm -hmm. I think we're going to be losing a lot of fascinating stories. And a lot of fascinating characters, characters. Mm -hmm. and I think our storytelling will become limited, mm -hmm. and so that we don't want that to happen. Um, I don't certainly, and, but I'm sure that ultimately that's going to begin to affect, you know, the industry. Sure. You know, if it's yeah. always we're always telling the same story. Mm -hmm. So I. Someone like John Hamm, who you already mentioned, and um, T Timothy Oliphant from yes. Um, Deadwood. Yes. Both of them are on TV. Yes. And very masculine in period dramas. Mm -hmm. Are they kind of pushing things back toward that Western man, or no? Are they just are they contributing to what you would call the variety, where we still have? the more sensitive men, and these men who are in charge and powerful and just representing the other side of the spectrum? I think, I think in all storytelling, there has to be a balance of characters. Mm -hmm. So you, you'll always have the lovers, and you'll always have the warrior. 
you'll always have uh, the bad guy, mm -hmm. <laughs> the evil guy, always. Mm -hmm. you know, uh, and then you'll have the buffoon. Mm -hmm. So these are these are stock characters that are necessary to good storytelling. Mm -hmm. If you want to tell a story, you know, and this goes back to the primitive times. Forever. I mean, this is in this is forever, and it's really linked up in in our psyche. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, it's something that is very important in terms of what our you know what our history is as human beings. Mm -hmm. And so these characters will never go away. I think uh, I think we're going through a change in the, in the history of mankind that has never been like this before. Mm -hmm. You know, we're going through an enormous amount of conflict, you know, uh, with the ecology, political, mm -hmm. with wars. And I think f uh, good filmmaking is a reflection of what's happening to us now. Mm -hmm. So we have to be... We have to be more willing to hear who we are from right. what is happening and to put that in stories mm -hmm. and not get too, um, too obsessed, mm -hmm. you know, with, for example, you, you know, we're obsessed with youth and we're obsessed with uh, youth and, uh, and uh, uh, even, even older people, they do not want to see older people, they want to see right. younger people. Right. And, uh, and it's understandable why, but I think it's, uh, it's, um, I think it's, it's, it's changing where it's, it's going to become more mm -hmm. balanced.